all right welcome back guys so in this one we are going to see how we can launch our android emulator and i'm going to show you two ways to do that okay so let me just bring up my i think i can minimize this and bring up my um android studio so this is the android virtual device area and you realize that okay maybe i should just remind you how we got here so i can close this and from your welcome screen you can just click on configure an android virtual device and you it will bring you to this area here so you see my my um, nexus 5 has completely downloaded that's why we have this green play button here now this is from android studio if i want to open a virtual device from android studio i can just click on this play button okay so supposing i wanted to open this pixels for example i'll click on the play button and it will start um, to open the pixel device so let me just give it some time. So one thing you should get used to is some of these things with Android Studio, they actually take time, okay? Um, so you just need to be patient, especially if you don't have a very high performing laptop. Okay, so I'm just gonna be, you know, pause the video and allow it to load. All right, so you see that my Android device or my Android emulator is opening up, okay? So that's the first way that you can actually open Android, um, your Android emulator, which is an Android virtual device. You can open it from inside of Android Studio. But it's interesting because your Android virtual device is actually independent of Android Studio in a way. In other words, you can open it and use it without even opening Android Studio. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So this is going to take some time to just, you know, load and because it's a, an entirely new device inside my laptop. Okay. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just start showing you how. Okay. So it's done. All right. So usually I just like to keep it on maybe the corner of my screen or so somewhere here. So let me show you how you can open this um, without Android Studio. So I'm going to close this up and I'm also going to close the device okay so i'll close that so let me just give it some time to close all right so now i'm going to show you how you can open your and um, virtual device um without even opening android studio okay so let's get started so just open a um an, a file explorer and go into your c drive okay and then locate your users so that will be this one here so c drive and users and then just enter the username you set for your computer okay then look for app data okay now you may come into your user folder and you won't you may not find app data so what you need to do in that case is you need to come to uh view okay so up top here view and you need to click on hidden files okay so if you click on hidden files your app data would show up okay oh, i shouldn't have clicked on it okay anyway i clicked on it now and you see that my app data has disappeared okay so, but if I click on it one more time, my app data would show up. So, just give it a few seconds and yeah, so you have app data here. So, go into your app data and local and Android and then SDK and emulator. Okay, you can stop here. Okay. Now what you need to do is I want you to just select on this path um, area here and copy it. Okay. Then I want you to just save it somewhere in an emulator. So I'm just going to create a new, um, in a text file. I'll just create a, text, a new text file and then I'll paste it in. Okay. That's one. Next, I want you to just type out this word emulator. Give a space hyphen av sorry hyphen list okay hyphen 
AVDS. Okay, that's just what I want you to type out. Okay, so type this out and be prepared. So the first thing we're going to work with is this guy here. So I'll just copy this control C and I'll open my command prompt. So I'll say CMD. And then I'll paste that this word I just copied here. I'll, I'll say CD, which is to change directory. I'll give a space and I'll right click to paste in this guy here and I'll hit enter. Now you'll notice that my directory has changed to this guy. Okay, which is what I specified here. Next, come to your notepad and copy this guy. So this stands for Android Virtual Devices, okay, AVDS. So this command is going to list all the devices you have. I'm going to copy it, come back to my emulator and paste it in and I'll hit enter. Uh, no AVD specified useful. Okay, so I'm getting an error here. So just give me a moment to check. So emulator list AVDS. Hmm. Let me let me try that without I don't think it's the space but let me just try it without okay yeah so I wasn't supposed to put any space here okay so it's just list hyphen AVDS so on doing that you see that I have three devices Nexus 6 Nexus S and Pixel 1 2 blah 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 now what I want to do is I want to open the pixel okay because i've been using it for some time so it's easier and faster for me to open it all right so what i'm going to do is i'll come here and type in so maybe what i'll just do is i'll just come down and i'll say emulator and i'll say dash avd and then i'll copy this pixel this whatever here the name of this device i can just do Control c to copy it and then I'll paste it here. Okay, so this is the command I want to run. So emulator AVD and then the name of the device. All right, so I'll just copy this Control C, and then I'll right click to paste it here, and I'll hit Enter. All right, so you see, let me minimize this. So you see, it has started opening my Android device now. Even if my visual, um, my Android Studio is closed, I can still open my Android device using this process I just showed you. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to save this file on maybe somewhere that is easily accessible, maybe on your desktop or in your project folder. Uh, so I'm going to save it as um, I'm going to save it as open emulator okay and it's going to just be a text file okay all right so I can go ahead and close this since I've already opened my Android studio so basically I've been able to show you how you can easily open Android studio without how you can easily open your Android emulator without even opening Android studio so I think there are too many processes running on my system my Android um, emulator has closed but no problem, I'm going to open it and we are going to do in the next lecture. Alright, so see you in the next lecture.